and Coglin off to do fight duties tonight. Um, big fight, Horn and Sarafa. Uh, good fight happening here too. Coglin Abin just need to hold steady now. They were attacked pretty hard just there before by North Benny, but they are kicking with the wind and it's a distinct advantage is wind. Good mark taken out here, sent off back by Alford. Alford, booming kick, but no one home. No one home for North Bendigo, that is, anyway, and Hill takes a nice mark. Takes his time, they'll be looking to run the clock down a bit here, Colburn Abbott as well, so. It's that wind that over, went over the top of him. Elford again, propelling kick back in the direction. He's looking for Devereaux. Devereaux looks for the boundary line. Three or four players in here going in very, very hard. Highland tried to get it away. Breaking the pack and running very, very quickly, Colburn Abbott. Kicks up here in the direction of Tui, and the boundary line has beaten them. It'll be a boundary throw in. One minute down. Found that pen, Damo. It was under me here. Couldn't see it, and then I had something in my vision, so it's all good. <coughs> Poor boundary throw in there. Putting North Benny under a lot of pressure, and uh, they've actually been lucky enough to come up with it with a bit of a high tackle there on Metherill. Metherill's kicked it out here. They found the boundary line. Cameraman might have been doing a few little adjustments then, I reckon, too, the way he was fiddling around. It's always fun live TV. It's a very simple and easy thing to do. That's why everyone wants to do it. That's right, isn't it, Domo? <laughs> Domo's got a good smile on his face. I don't know if that's because Colbo are winning or he thinks who's he been left here with. So, Rucks go at it. North Bendigo. Coming in hard here, underneath pack, trying to get it up and moving the ball forward. Now Geary in a foot race, he is very, very quick. He's the smallest on the ground, traps it, gets into the right foot, gets out right to Herdman, dropped it, I thought he nearly had enough of it. And good tackle there and it's over the boundary line. He was very well tackled there by Bryant. Getting a bit dark up that end now. You don't need the sunnies on when they're over that area. Been a beautiful spring day here. It's Pigeon Park, Heathcote. Terrific crowd, record crowd. Country footy at its best. Rucks go at it. Out the back, good quick kick by Highland. Dangerous, Herdman up and over. Out the back, there's Finlay and the boundary will beat it. A lot of people getting animated over in that far corner and a couple of players a bit slow to get up off the ground here. He's gone real well here, Herdman, actually. I've said that a few times about a few players, but I'm back into the true full forward position, but um, it can be dangerous if there's a quick kick out here. Colbo have been able to clear up, but only as far as Alford. It's been terrific, Zach Alford. He's had two goals today. He'd be a bit too far out here with this wind. He's looking for the quick kick out wide. That's very, very well done there by Devereaux. He's been good today. Looking for a lead. Not sure he'll have the distance. Gets onto it. It's going to be in the goal square, that's for sure. Herdman waiting out the back. Very hard to commentate in there. It's very hard to see where that ball actually is at the minute. It's at the bottom of the pack. Herdman and all trying to roll them over. Crowd are definitely getting into it up that end. North Benigo able to score here. It will make it very, very interesting this um, last quarter as to how Colbo go. But they've been doing all attacking North Benigo. Just not been able to... Score, Colburn having again repelling here. Two or three on, on one. Tom, Thompson done a very, very good job. Umpire said he got into his, in, into his back. Metherill out here to Donut today. Out to Elford. Elford, there's a couple of players on here. They actually made a meal of that in the end. Probably a little bit too cute with one of the kicks there. Alford got the hand pass out. Devereaux again. Dangerous kick here for Colburn Abbott up into the forward, full forward. A few players there going at it. Forward at the bottom. He's got the tackle and the umpire says I'll have it. North are throwing everything at Colburn Abbott at the minute. Colburn Abbott haven't been able to penetrate their forward 50 this quarter and they've got a good win to um, kick with. So five minutes gone. Second semi, winner goes through to the grand final. Good hand pass out there. Colburn have now looking up for the kick. Southern, Southern throws a dummy. Has a, a bounce. 
looking to see who we can kick to. Centering, centering kick, but it's going to be picked off, picked off beautifully there by Metherill. Metherill's been good here in this last quarter. He's had a good couple of touches and a couple of good intercepts. Finds his man there in the middle with Alford. Another man that's been playing good, and here he is again, Devereux. Alford and Devereux, they've been kicking the ball. That's a good mark. A far wing out there, taken um, by Devereux. Into the Herdman direction, spoiled it, brought it to the ground. Goldman Abbott, they've been desperate here in defence. Got the kick away right at the right minute, last minute. <coughs> and a good mark taken there in the middle. Quick play on. Out here, he's got Hamilton. Hamilton takes his time, I think. He almost went off, but no, takes his time. Can hear the bench yelling out there, take your shot, take your shot. Hamilton, he's already kicked two for the day, and he's been very, very good. Milk up as much time as he can. We've been played five, five and a half minutes, six minutes actually. All the Colby boys, they want more people up there in the forward line. He kicks, kicks it behind here, I think. So Hamilton goes back. Boundary umpires moving. All clear, and one goal. Brings up his third for the day. Hamilton, he's been terrific. Just what Colby haven't wanted there. Benigo were tackling very, attacking very, very hard in that quarter, and they've done a great job. So I just got told then Hamilton made the all strands under 16. So probably what the Colby boys would have been wanting from him. So <laughs> played very, very good today, though. So how old is he? Uh, he's only a 16-year-old boy playing in second semi here of a uh, pretty hard game of footy too. So. Twin brothers out there, I haven't been, oh yeah. Good attack on the ball there from Nixon. Unfortunately, coughed it up. Went North Benny goes way. A few players hitting in very, very hard there. Quick kick out here. That didn't make five metres. That kick was a shocking kick. Put the Colburn Haven player under a huge amount of trouble. Talisanos. Tried hard to get it out, but the umpire said, I'll have it, we'll ball this one up. So, North have come to life, but trailing now by five goals. It's going to be a hard call here with this a strong wind, although the wind does seem to have died down. Probably kick in there, but it was very, very well done there in the last line of the defence. I think that was Hill that actually was able to spoil that across for a rush behind to North Pendigo. 8-11, they'd probably like a couple of those 11s to be the other way as well, North Penny, and it would have made a lot better. Good mark taken out there on the far side of the ground by Southern. It's not Southern, that's for sure, but... Getting a lot of pointing, told which way to kick it. It's easy to say, good kick though. Ripping kick out there on the far side of the ground. Colburn having now just starting to slow play down. I don't have the number seven on my team sheet, so I apologise that. Here he is, he's going to take another mark. No, falls out the back. Luck's a fortune, no, Hamilton. 16-year-old kid. Good kick, centering kick. And the umpire says he went over the shoulder and Ryden's going to go back for... I would say he's going to have a shot at goal anyway. It's a, it's a little way out. He's been very good today, but he's just had a couple of clangers in that third quarter where he wasn't able to hit his teammates. But Presented all day and he's a big man, takes a good mark, so takes as much time as he wants. That's what Colburn Abbott will be doing when they get the shots at goals, milking up as much of the clock as they can. Big kick, right foot kick, it's gonna make the distance, and it's a goal as well. Brings up his first. Now it's very hard now for North Bendigo. Colburn haven't have answered the challenge very, very well. North Benio threw everything up in that first five, five minutes of play, but Colburn haven't been able to weather the storm. They got one goal a couple of minutes ago, and then that goal then probably wasn't an expected goal. So, who's number seven? Doesn't matter. Just trying to find out who number seven is for Colbo. I don't have him on my team sheet, but that's okay. He's been playing good the last five minutes. Just call him seven and uh, he can work out who he is from there and he'll be fine. So, it's like a kick forward by North Bendigo. They've just got to keep this ball going forward any way they can. Well trapped. Good tackle there. 
how do you get rid of that? It looked like a throat, but it's okay. We won't call him, we'll just call him number seven, so they're playing good as North there you go. Oh I couldn't see him, but the Colbo boys could. Very, very good tackle there on Helmut. Can't be Helmut because he doesn't have the helmet on, must be Finlay. Mark's been over Mark. The high mark went up there. Colvin Avon got a bit of time in. Lovely, lovely kick up. Kick up there to Knight. Knight kicks into the direction of Connor. Connor's able to get back up. So Seti gives a big don't argue. Centering kick, but no one home. And it was a good mark taken there by Federal. Federal. Federal out to Thompson. Thompson. And no one to kick to. He's got Alfred up here on the wing. No one's going at it. They're all calling for it. No one's going for this ball at all. Here we have Craig. Gets it out to you, out here to Thompson. Thompson hit after he got rid of the ball. Leave it, leave it. <coughs> Todd Clark. Todd Clark just he's a number seven. I found out who it is, and he just give away the uh, the free there. So for Colburn having but Nothing doing, a little bit of push and shove behind play, but North Benio boys just got to keep attacking, not worrying about who's, who's behind. Ball's coming back. Three or four to beat here, Coleman Abbott, but it'll be a foot race, but the boundary's going to beat them. A little bit over the play, Finlay couldn't get there to it, so still ringing the changes here, Coleman Abbott. 11 minutes gone, they've got a six goal lead. Five goal lead anyway, 30 points. Exact. Boundary up by setting himself. Boundary, a few of the boys walking it out here on the bench, they're a bit tired. Hamilton, young kid, going in. Tackled very heavily there by Highland. Umpire's gonna ball it up again. Good ball up. Colvin Abbott looking for a few of the Colboy boys. Nowhere, nowhere to go there for Metherill. He got out. Only as far as Hamilton. Oh. Hamilton was terrific. Then Nixon would have liked his time again, but Hamilton, the cameraman's got a beautiful big smile on his face. So I think they'd like to keep him for a bit longer, but I don't think he'd be playing for Colbo for too long. 16 year old kid and he was dancing on a ballroom just then. That was terrific to watch his footwork. Hopefully that shows up on the camera. Unfortunately, as I said, Nixon couldn't slot the goal through, so Alfred's going to do the kicking in here for North Bendigo. Come out here to the wing, no, going up through the centre. See, good ball. In front there, not able to take it was Harris. Hamilton again, out here. Hit pretty hard afterwards, and it's on. Bit of his shoulders. A little bit of push and shove here. The umpire's going to have to try and take control of this. Hamilton's going to go back. He's going to have a shot at goal. Hamilton slots it through. Brings up his fourth goal there, Hamilton, and there's still a little bit of feeling going on. Boys want to be aware that one of them is going into the grand final and the other's got to play next week to get into the grand final as well. So they want to behave themselves, that's for sure. Cameraman's got a big grin on his face, he's pointing, he thinks it might be viewed by some other people going forward. So. Oh, they don't review it, so okay, so fair bit of feeling in this game. But anyway, Colburn having 90 points, 14, 690. Eight goals, 11 for North Penny. Oh, they just dead set shell shot. Well, probably got about 10 minutes to go in this quarter, but um, yeah, a little bit of feeling in it right now. The umpire's probably lost it a bit there. Rucks will go at it. Clark went through the pack heavy. Out here, kick up Hamilton. He 
is getting bigger and bigger as this game's going on. Damo, the cameraman's got the tug out all the time. That's Hugh Hamilton. Yep. Okay, so this one didn't make the. He should have. But his brother. So I've had the. I've had the. Uh, this kid's not 16. I don't think he's very old though. It's a terrible kick. It's his worst kick for the day. We've given him half a wrap up, and it was his worst kick for the day. But Connor hacks it out, but it's going to go out of bounds on the full. Yeah. He's been terrific today, Hugh, that's for sure. Especially this last quarter, I'll tell you, when North Benio were throwing everything at it, he's made the most of his chances and done a terrific job here. But the sting's gone out of the game now. I think people are realising that it's just it's a little bit beyond them. Metherall plays on. Up towards the um, fishing sheds. Good mark taken out there. Both Hamilton boys have made the Vic Country support, so very classy player, young Hugh, that's for sure. He's um, shown a fair.